Hi, my name is Mark Dudley. I'm a senior electronic engineer here at Civicon. And today we're going to show you a little bit about our crossover prevention system. Uh, we call it COPS. The uh, four main components of the crossover system is the fuel sensor. This is what detects what type of product is in the uh, compartment. The display, and this display just pretty much tells you what compartment has what product in it. The main controller, the main controller is the brain of the system and tells everything what to do and allows the valves to open when they need to open. And your air control. So when you get around a COPS trailer, you're gonna notice that all the API handles and all of the air control knobs are locked. So you can't physically open any of the valves. So the first thing you're gonna do is pull your master air and you're still gonna notice this is locked. So you're gonna ask yourself, how am I gonna load the trailer? So we're gonna use this tester to demonstrate how you would load the, load the trailer. So you take this, this is gonna simulate the rack monitor. You plug it on, and as soon as you plug it on, the unit goes into loading mode, which now allows you to open all of your valves, and it also allows you to pull all of your internal valves. Now we're gonna head out and watch a driver deliver a load at a gas station. Mark Smith is gonna be the driver that's gonna be helping us out today. So this is a uh, standard uh, 60 TT elbow from Civicon. Uh, so this uh, elbow has been modified to work with the COP system. It has a magnet here on the side and then it also has a radio pack down here. So this radio pack reads the RFID tag that's in the ground that tells the system what grade it is and wirelessly transmits it back to the main controller on the trailer. Right now uh, he's already set up his cones to make sure that he has a uh, safe uh, work area. Now he's uh, dipping his tanks to make sure that uh, he has enough room to uh, deliver his product into the uh, holes. So right now he's uh, putting his first elbow into the hole. So uh, what, he's, uh, what Mark is doing now is he's uh, placing his hose on and he just now locked his elbow in. So if you see here on the COPS monitor, he is, uh, his elbow light now shows yellow. Yellow is uh, the color for diesel, and he also has yellow on compartment number two. So Mark has already gone ahead and pulled his number two compartment. So now he has his hose running from compartment two into his diesel hole. So now he's gonna go ahead and pull his API handle and um, he's gonna start to unload diesel into compartment two. Soon as he pulls his API handle on compartment two, his elbow light jumps from elbow up to underneath compartment number two. That commits uh, API number two to that hole. So now he can go ahead and place another elbow into the ground to start unloading his second compartment. So uh, Mark has just now hooked up his uh, vapor recovery. He's, uh, he's placed his second elbow into the uh, low grade or the uh, no lead uh, hole in the ground. Uh, he's hooking his hose up to compartment number four. And as soon as he locks the handle down on the API. You can hear it click, you can hear it make that noise. Uh, you get the elbow light here. And then also, so now he can go ahead and pull his compartment number four, which he's hooked up to on his trailer and force shows that it's gasoline. So as soon as he pulls that handle on API number four, You can see the elbow light has jumped from elbow to underneath compartment number four the, to commit uh, that elbow and that API to get together. So if he had a third elbow, he could continue this process for all the elbows that he uh, carries on his truck. So Mark is uh, resticking his tanks now to make sure that the uh, amount of product that he thought he had on his trailer is now into the uh, underground tanks. So Mark has just finished uh, emptying compartment number four. He's moved his hose to compartment number one. So his elbow light automatically jumps back down to the elbow portion onto the uh, display. So now he can come back over and unlock compartment number one. And as soon as he pulls his handle to open API number one, the elbow light will jump from here to underneath number one. 
as you notice, Mark never had to go back and touch the elbow. So everything he's done to switch compartments from gas to gas has all been done at the trailer. That completes us uh, unloading a trailer that's equipped with a COP system today. If you'd like more information on the COP system, visit www.civicon.com or give one of our inside sales guys a call.